One by one, the men behind the man would exit Sean Miller's house on Monday. After presumably learning that Miller was headed to Arizona, his assistants made their way to the Cinta Center for Miller's last press conference as the Musketeer head basketball coach. I want to make sure that as best I can, and I don't know if there's protocol for things like this, is to make sure that I do the very best job I can of leaving Xavier the way Xavier deserves to be left. That was part of WCPO's coverage in 2009 when head coach Sean Miller announced he was leaving Xavier and heading to Arizona. But now, 13 years later, almost to the day, almost to the week, in a wild twist of fate, Sean Miller was officially hired last night as the new head basketball coach at Xavier again. Of course, he spent five seasons as the head coach of the Musketeers from 2004 to 2009 before leaving for Arizona, where he spent 12 seasons and led that team to the Elite Eight three different times. He went to the, to the Sweet 16 five different times. So his success speaks for itself. But the questions arise when you look at the federal investigation into possible NCAA violations within the Arizona program during his time there, part of a tumultuous ending to his tenure in Tucson. But Sean Miller will now get a fresh start in a familiar place at Xavier. All right, our good friend Steve Wolf joins us now, former Xavier basketball player, now a national basketball analyst. Uh, Steve, was Sean the right guy for the job? Well, we'll see. Uh, I'll let you know in a year or maybe two. Uh, you know, I, I think that uh, it was a decision that they, they wanted to make. They wanted to get somebody in here they knew that had a history uh, with Xavier that could win games very quickly. You know, obviously there's there could be some shrapnel based on the Arizona stuff. Uh, but uh, I think Sean is an excellent X's and O coach. All right, Steve, you mentioned the Arizona stuff, uh, and there's inherent risk here with the hire, right? I mean, a certain level of risk. Are you concerned, though, as a Xavier guy with the implications that might have on his tenure at Xavier? Well, I absolutely. Um, moving forward, I don't think there's going to be an issue uh, because I think Sean uh, is smart enough uh, to take care of it. I'm sure the administration put something in the contract to make sure it doesn't happen. My biggest concern right now uh, is that Xavier doesn't lose relevancy. You know, when John Calipari left UMass, uh, UMass went down the drain. Xavier has been, you know, since 1983, when we went to the first NCAA tournament, has been relevant. I have gotten many, many calls from coaches that said, hey, it is the second best job in the country and I said well what's the first and they said the job I have right now certainly they've had some good coaches some very successful coaches go through there one of them being Sean Miller for the five seasons he was there in the late 2000s what though in your mind makes Xavier one of the top jobs in the country well first of all there's there's no football it's the number one sport uh, which is good and bad now right now it's bad because you'd like to have something else you know helping you out with the fundraising when you're struggling like this but you know, Xavier is a small school. It's it, you, it has great history that that people know about. Um, an excellent education, uh, beautiful facilities. They put their money where their mouth is as far as the facilities, and they've done a really good job. You can get to the NBA from Xavier. You're playing in arguably one of the top three conferences year in and year out in the country. So you're nationally televised on every game. This is a great situation. You're also in a hotbed, you know, with Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana. I mean, come on. That's where you want to recruit. So it's a great job. Uh, I think the people treat you the right way for the most part. Um, but we have seen a change over the last couple of years. Uh, and, and most of the people complaining and screaming and moaning are the guys that buy the, tw you know, the cheap seats for 20 bucks or they give them the seats or, or maybe they get season tickets you know, and, and go now and again. But, you know, you're allowed to voice your concern, but the rude stuff, you know, that's not Xavier basketball. And that's what I see. Uh, they've never had that before. And so that's why I think most of the coaches enjoy the job. They love the job. Um, and for Sean Miller, what I think is it, it's his last job in my estimation. I don't think he's going to go for a bigger, higher profile. I think he now has already gone that route. He's already done a good job at Arizona. Now let's, you know, let's see if we can get to the finals, the NCAA finals, and, and win a championship. Thank you so much. That is Steve Wolf, former Xavier basketball player, now a national basketball analyst. Steve, you can join us on the show anytime. Hey, thanks a lot, Caleb. Appreciate it.